Imagine being able to scrape any website by just asking an AI. I'm not talking about complicated code or tools. I mean literally just typing a sentence like get me a list of a thousand dental clinics in the US and getting it in minutes. It might sound like science fiction, but it is now a reality. And in this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can do it yourself. To make it easy for you to follow along, I've put together a full guide that you can find in my resource hub. The link is right in the description below. And if you're interested in leveraging AI and no-code tools, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything that's coming up. All right, now let's dive in. So the platform that we're gonna use to scrape leads is called Appify. Appify, if you're not familiar with it, it is basically just a marketplace in which you can find actors or basically scrapers for any platform that you can think of. In particular, for lead generation purposes, you would want to use Google Maps Scraper, Apollo Scrapers, Instagram Scrapers to find emails, profiles, and basically data that you can populate in your email campaigns, phone call campaigns, or basically any lead generation method. So Appify just recently released their MCP server, and this basically allows us to communicate via an MCP client with all the actors inside the platform. This basically just facilitates the way we do prospecting because now we're just gonna have to chat with an LLM in order to do all the prospecting by ourselves. And this system is intelligent enough to find the right scraper, scrape the leads and give the result back to us. Now the MCP client that we're using is Cloud Desktop because this allows us to run the MCP in our local machine. The step-by-step -step guide on how to connect this is gonna be available in my resource hub with the full guide that I just mentioned. But basically what you're gonna do once you're in Cloud, you're gonna go ahead and just hit this where your name appears then go to configuration then to developer here i have it connected already you can see that it is running so if i go ahead and go to a new chat and ask it which appify actors can i use to find leads it is going to go ahead and search for the appify actors that can help me find leads for my business so it is talking to the mcp server and trying to find the actors that are suitable for my request it is giving me suggestions on the top scrapers that i can use i can use this apollo.io scrapers which is a lead generation or lead database that is very famous good google maps lead generation and some more what i usually do to scrape leads is use the apollo.io scrapers so I use an actor in Appify that scrapes Apollo list. But in this case, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use a Google map scraper and try to scrape some data from Google to show you how this works. So I just told this agent to use the cheapest Google Maps scraper to find me 20 pixel shops in Miami. And I also told it that ideally this list should have an email. Now it is asking me for permission to use it in the scraper. I'm just going to go ahead and allow this. It is important to have pricing in mind here because the different types of actors inside Appify have different types of pricings and some of them are cheaper, some of them are just more expensive. And if you don't have this in mind, you're going to run out of credits very fast. So you see that this run an specific actor that allowed me to find pixel shops in Miami. It was able to find the phone, the address and the website and the rating, but it wasn't able to find the email. So it says that the basic Google Maps scraper didn't extract emails directly and it recommends using one of these options. So it recommends me using another scraper to find more data and enrich the data that I already have for my leads. And this is where it gets interesting because I can now chain up all of these scrapers and build a very valuable lead list that I can go then contact with a lot of information to use in my email outbound campaigns. I wanna briefly touch on how to configure this by yourself. So the way to do it is once you are logged in Appify right here, so this is the dashboard, you're gonna go ahead and find the actor's MCP server actor that is deployed by Appify themselves. Once you're here, you're gonna go ahead and find information. And once in information, you scroll down where it says MCP server at a local host. Once you're there, this is gonna give you all the prerequisites and how to do it. Long story short, you have to do three things. The first thing is install Node.js. The second thing is go and retrieve your Appify API token. And the third thing is to configure Cloud Desktop. In Cloud Desktop, what you have to do is go to developer mode, then to settings, then to developer option, then to edit config. And right there you have to basically modify the cloud desktop config.json file. Once you open this up, you're gonna go ahead and paste this JSON payload in the file, including your Appify token in this field right here. You have also the option to specify which actors you want this MCP server to have access to by just adding this parameter right here named actors and listing the actors that you want to use. Once you have that, you just save the file and then just restart cloud desktop 
and you should be good to go. Okay, so that was the tutorial on how to scrape anything using Appify's new MCP server. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them on the comments and I will try to address them. If you want to know more about this AI stuff or just AI use cases that can actually help you, feel free to check out any of my videos. I'm sure you will find them valuable. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.